Okay. What's well, Antipes Day has been and gone. <laughs> I got my piece in on time though. I got it in on the Saturday. Technically on time. Technically. Um, I just didn't really feel the need to rush. Um, just because I'd said I was going to get it in on Friday. Pfft. You know. I didn't need to. And it wouldn't have served me to rush it. So I didn't rush it and I got it in on the Saturday. Sorry about the banging. We're having our roof redone. Um, and loads of plastering and loads of other stuff. Just add that to the pile of excuses I'll be using. Um, so here's my baby. In all her blue and gold glory. I think it's one of those things where I fell so in love with the the digital version or the negative as like maybe I should be calling it but I don't think the sound type was ever going to live up to the hype of the digital version um and that's kind of what happened with my old milk creek series as well like I just they were never meant to be digital files it was just a means to an end to get a cyanotype the way I wanted it to be to make a digital version to make into a negative to then turn into cyanotype but then I loved the, the digital versions possibly probably more than the cyanotype versions and that's fine you know um oh, I love this digital version so much I might um yeah, I might end up going back in, playing it, reworking it, changing the colours up. Um, and maybe having a massive digital version on the wall. I, I'm going to try this again. Um, it was rushed. There was some aggressive energy going into trying to get it done um which is is all my fault because you know I left it up to the last minute as always but you know you can tell that it's this wasn't done with love in the same way that the actual design was you know so like the gold leaf I got angry at the size I'd used because I tried to do a shortcut and I had some leftover from when I um, gold leafed my mum's dressing room. So I used a watered down acrylic size, which is fine on a wall, but wasn't fine on the paper. Instead of using what I would normally use in the gilding paste. And yeah, I just fucked up. Um, so you can kind of see where the size has tinted the paper and then I've not quite matched it. And then like, I used a lower quality leaf because I was trying to get rid of it and I was in a hurry and I didn't give her my full dedication like in the way that I would give to something that was going in the shop or something I was taking my time if I'm out of breath. <laughs> um, yeah. She was rushed. You can tell she was rushed. Uh, she's also very dark. Um, but still beautiful. I'm not saying she's not beautiful. I am incredibly proud. I'm just, you know, it's such an important piece that I'm trying not to say she's not good enough because, you know, it's not very uh, loving, but she's not good enough. Um, <laughs> I entered it anyway um, and it's up in the International Gallery which is brilliant so um, I'm really proud of myself I'm proud of her proud of all that we achieved together and next year will be better maybe maybe I'll start more than two days before maybe maybe probably not but maybe um 
So for now, love the digital version. Like the cyanotype. And I only did one test and one proper. So I will redo this. I'll reprint the negative. I'll play around with the contrasts. Again, I mentioned before that I did it in colour um, so that it was easier for me to see in a digital thing, but then didn't really think about the contrast of those colours when it was grey mm. Obviously, that needed more thought, um, which is why this grey and this grey and this grey kind of all merge into one, whereas in a digital file, they're actually quite separate like quite distinguishable and when they were colours they were obviously even more distinguishable when it was the greens and the pinks um yeah it'll be done again and it'll be great and it's all a learning curve it's all part of the journey where am i now who knows maybe one of these <laughs> um yeah, I'm in a good I'm in like a recharge space. Um working on just being a bit more content, which is why I'm trying to say she's not good enough. Um and also like trying to be a bit happier with all of my other works. I still just why can't I put them out there in my shop? Why can't I like put them to market? Because they're fine. They're good. They're beautiful. But I never think they're finished. So I need to get over there. Um, but for now, I'm just focusing on easier things like hydrating and resting. Um, and I pulled this card this morning from the Empowered Woman collection. Uh, freedom is my true goal and most important outcome. <laughs> my voice is breaking as I say that. I do believe it. I'm just, you know, this is one of the biggest parts of the journey. It's believing in myself and in the fact, like in the reality that I deserve to rest. I deserve to heal. And I can't be at my best artistically or as a like businesswoman unless I allow myself to heal and rest and be content. Um, yeah. Freedom is the true goal. And I wrote in my journal a while ago that like, my name literally means freedom and I don't feel free. And that has always been my top goal. I've just never given it enough time, enough space to breathe, enough room to grow. Even through like therapy and therapies and all of this work and friend support and, you know, everything that we do. Freedom. Liberty. So, we'll get there. It's just another step on the journey. Um, yeah. I hope that you're all doing great and that you know you deserve rest and you deserve to hydrate and you deserve to find peace and love and freedom and cut people out of your life and... <laughs> If you don't have anyone to talk to, I'm not necessarily the best place person to help you, but if you don't have anyone else, I'm here for you. So talk to me. I might know someone who can help you. Okay. Love you.